College Algebra, Topic 4.4, .4, Graphing Polynomial Functions. We'll be graphing this polynomial function. We'll be finding four parts first. We'll look for the y-intercept, then the x-intercepts, the end behavior, and then the multiplicity of the zeros. And we'll use those four aspects to graph. So first, we're going to find the y-intercepts. We find the y-intercepts by taking the function and, set, and setting x to 0. And then we've got our final answer. So here we'll set x to 0. So this will be 0 to the third power minus 0 squared minus 9 times 0 plus 9. This simplifies down to 9. Next, our x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, we set the entire function equal to 0, and then we solve for x. So we'll take x cubed minus x squared minus 9x plus 9, set equal to 0. Now I want to solve for x um, by factoring this. I cannot take, uh, there are no greatest common factors in the whole problem, but I can't take greatest, greatest common factors in groups. So the greatest common factor for this group would be x squared times x minus 1. The greatest common factor for this group would be negative 9, so it would be negative 9 times x minus 1. Now we have an overall greatest common factor of x minus 1. We'll take that out. We'll have x minus 1 times x squared minus 9. x squared minus 9 is the difference of two squares. So you have x minus 1, x plus 3, x minus 3 equals 0. And our x-intercepts will be x equals 1, x equals negative 3, and x equals positive 3. Alright, thirdly, we want to look at the end behavior. The end behavior will be based on the first term. The first term is x cubed, so it will be based on a positive x cubed. Positive x cubed means that the right side will go up, whereas the left side will go down. Okay, now let's begin the graph, and then we'll also add with our graph the ideal of the um, multiplicities. So, our y-intercept is 0, 9. Our, our x-intercepts are, let's start off with negative 3, 1, and positive 3. Our end behavior will be right side up, left side down. And finally, our multiplicities. Let's go from left to right through the graph and see and go through each individual intercept. So let's hit toward negative 3. Negative 3, we have a, from the factor, it was a 1, so that means a multiplicity of 1. So that means that we'll go straight through the intercept. We'll go straight through. Then we head to our next intercept, which is 9. And then to our next intercept, which is, which is the x-intercept, which is 1. The multiplicity for that again is 1, so we'll go straight through that. And finally to our last intercept, which is 3, and the multiplicity there is also a 1, so we'll go straight through that one, and we have our graph. Number 6, we have f of x equals negative x to the fifth power plus x to the fourth power plus 6x cubed. Alright, now again, first we want to look for our y-intercepts. To find the y-intercepts, we're going to make all our x's zero. So we have negative 0 to the fifth plus 0 to the fourth plus 6x, 0 to the third. This will give us 0 for our y-intercept. For the x-intercepts, we're going to set our function equal to 0, and then we'll solve for x. Now here we do have a GCF in the entire problem, which is a negative x cubed, so we'll take that out. So dividing everything by negative x cubed gives us x squared, negative x, and negative 6. Now this is a trinomial. Trinomials, when they factor, they factor into two binomials. So let's factor that into two binomials. So 
x squared can factor into x times x. 6 can factor into a um, 2 times 3. And since we want um, a negative x at the See, let's make this a negative 3 and a positive 2. Okay, now our factors are, or sorry, our solutions are, for this one, x equals 0. For this one, x equals negative 2. And for this one, x equals 3. So now we have our x-intercepts. Thirdly, our end behavior will be based on negative x to the fifth, which means that the left side will go down and the right side will go up because it's negative and odd powered. So let's begin the graph. Okay, well, our y intercept is 0. Our intercepts, x intercepts are 0, so that's shared 0, negative 2, and a positive 3. Then the end behavior is left side down and right side is up. Okay, now let's go through. Here, our multiplicities for, let's see, let's go going from left to right. We head into our negative 2. The negative 2 has a multiplicity of 1, so it will go straight through and head toward the next intercept. The multiplicity for 0 is here, it's 3. So we're going to make an S curve, so we're going to go flat for just a second and go through. Okay, and now we head to our last intercept, which is 3. That multiplicity is 1, so we're going to go straight through. And this is the graph.